Imagine yourself in a crypto gaming hub where you can choose from any game genre you want and play them on different platforms. Strategy games, battle royales, shooters, arena battlers. You could access all these games from one hub, one metaverse, where you and your friends can play together and transfer your progress from one game to the next. Well, with Sidus Heroes, you don't need to imagine it. You can actually do it. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at Sidus Heroes and understand how they are shaking up the gaming and metaverse space. I have partnered with Sidus to bring you this video, but I only partner with projects I'm invested in myself and believe in long term. Before we dive in, I have to remind you guys I am not a financial advisor. This video is for educational purposes only. Investing in crypto is high risk. Always do your own research and if you want to seek financial advice, seek out a professional financial advisor. Also, this is not aimed at people in the UK. If you are UK based, this video is not for you as UK regulations prevent me from sharing my thoughts and opinions on the crypto market. Any links below this video will be geo-blocked for UK watchers. So what exactly is Sidus Heroes? And what is it doing differently than other crypto gaming projects? The Sidus Metaverse is a collection of games across multiple different genres and platforms that are all interconnected. What you do in one game can carry over into other games within the Metaverse. You can access all these games in their new Sidus Hub. So you can go to one gaming distribution platform and access all the games. Unlike traditional gaming platforms, Sidus has an economic system where players can earn real value from in-game achievements and assets. And it's all based on a cross-game economy. Your rewards and resources can be used across all the games and planets, so everything is interconnected, meaning you can play the games you want to play without feeling restricted. Now, imagine you could become the partial owner of a certain activity in the metaverse. Well, you can with Sidus's module economy, which I'll dive into later in this video. Modules allow players to become co-owners of key elements of the game and earn profits together with other players. The power behind this approach is that it incentivizes gameplay at the same time as introducing a community-driven economic ecosystem. So there is a healthy relationship between the players and the economy. This is where a lot of crypto gaming projects fall short. So make sure you stick around to learn more about why their modules are so important later in this video. You can level up your heroes in your favorite games and hop over to the third person shooter to play with your friends using your favorite hero. Your progress transfers to all other games so you don't have to start from zero. They also integrate NFTs, which represent ownership of unique in-game assets that can be transferred seamlessly on the blockchain. But it doesn't stop there. Sidus also has a political system where players can influence things in game, like technology developments, all via their governance system. I haven't seen a gaming project use governance and decision-making processes like this in order to influence in-game environments. So it's pretty exciting to see. Some of the best games have a strong emphasis on politics and economy. EVE Online is one of the best examples. So to see Sidus pushing the boundaries of how blockchain technology can enhance the gaming experience is pretty awesome. This blend of engaging gameplay, financial incentives, and a level of ownership and influence within the game's combined universe is a potent mix. And it's why for me, it sets Sidus apart from the competition. They have been consistently building throughout the bear market. With four games released and over 14 more in development, they have a runway for the next few years. So you can be sure that Sidus will keep developing their gaming hub. Speaking of, let's take a closer look at the games that are already released. They are even integrating games into Telegram, and we know how much the crypto community loves Telegram. This could bring about a new wave of gaming innovation, so stick around to find out how you can start playing today. First up, we have Xena, which is a multi-platform game, available on mobile, PC and Mac. 
The game is a blend of real-time strategy with battle royale elements. Imagine PUBG, but in strategy mode. 10 players face off against each other on a map with a storm pushing in from the edges. Engage in player vs player battles and build your bases in a 6 minute fight for rewards. You have 6 minutes to be the last man standing and earn some juicy rewards. You can seamlessly earn and trade your NFTs through secure transactions and ownership in-game. Building on blockchain means all of these interactions are fast and secure. You can invest in Zena's modules and start earning income as a co-owner. Each game has its own modules, so you can focus on the games you love. Zena is available to download and play right now. Next up, we have Tembazaar, which is a browser-based third-person shooter set on the planet of Tembazaar. Hop into a 3v3 or deathmatch game mode where you can upgrade your weapons, armor, and unlock new tech. Just like Zena, you can earn rewards and improve your hero, all of which will carry over into other games. And the earliest players will typically earn rare items. Getting your hands on these rare items now could give you some tidy returns in the future. Tembazaar is a pretty high adrenaline FPS. You can play it in their current open beta phase and see what you think of it yourself. Nidham is a turn-based PvP battler that you can play from your browser. You need to assemble a team of three heroes to face off in a player versus player battle arena and come out on top for some more juicy rewards. You can get loads of different heroes of varying levels of rarity. Different races and different unique skills mean you can customise your team and combine different tech together. Weapons, armour and gadgets can be upgraded and this is what makes the collective gaming universe of Sidus awesome. You can use your hero across different games, leveling them up as you go. After extensive testing, Sidus are working on some major updates for Nidham, which will be ready in the near future. Keep your eyes peeled on their socials so you don't miss those updates. Nidham, Tembaza and Zena are all games you can play now. They're all great. But I'm really excited for this next game. It has implications for the future of mobile gaming, which could be big. Aster Rally is a simple concept for a game, but an addictive one. It's a casual game where you pilot a spaceship to dodge asteroids and collect coins. But Aster Rally is designed specifically for Telegram, so you can open Telegram on your laptop, desktop or phone and play it straight away. If you follow my channel, you know that I've talked about the mobile gaming market before. It's huge and it isn't slowing down. I talked about it last week in my gaming strategy video. Games that can tap into the mobile gaming market will immediately have a huge market. Think about it. Everybody has a smartphone, right? That kind of access means the mobile gaming market will significantly outpace PC or console gaming. Mobile gaming is already huge, but it is set to keep growing at a fast rate. The mobile gaming market is larger than the PC and console market combined. What more do you need to know? When developers innovate, that's even more exciting in the mobile gaming market. Telegram gaming is not something that has taken off yet. It's new. It's not got a load of developers building on it yet and it taps into that area of gaming that has high replayability and ease of access. So Sidus releasing Astrally is big, not just because it's another part of their gaming universe, but because it's a genuine innovation in a big market. We could see Telegram Gaming create a whole new range of games that are accessible and replayable. I'd love to see a shooter style version on Telegram as well. And Sidus could be at the front of that pack. Let me know down in the comments though, what do you think about the potential for gaming on Telegram? Do you think it could be huge? So with this roster of games, you can obviously earn rewards and progress your heroes or earn some income. There are two coins in the Sidus universe. The first one is called Sidus and it's the primary in-game currency which you can earn as a reward from games. You can use Sidus for various in-game transactions like purchasing heroes, items and also upgrading them. This is what you'll be using most of the time. The other token is Senna and this is the governance token. 
But as I said earlier, it isn't just your standard boring governance token. Sure, you have the usual mechanism of it being used to vote on game development. But inside us, players can create factions, and Senate can be used to influence how factions are managed, as well as in-game political views which can influence the development of the metaverse. Senate can still be used to buy things in-game as well. Space shuttles, modules for space stations, and land plots are just a few of the examples of what you can get your hands on. Any luxury or limited items in the Sidus metaverse will only be purchasable with Senna. There are deflationary mechanisms baked into the modules of the game to keep the game economy healthy. Speaking of, let's dive into what these modules are all about, shall we? Modules serve as a way for players to invest resources into different game features. You'll secure a share of the profits generated by each of these modules, so you'll be a co-owner alongside other players. Developing these modules requires a few stages. First, you research the module. Then you need to collect in-game resources and tokens in order to construct the module. This is where earning different rewards from the various different games come into play. Once you construct the module, you can launch it and start earning your share of the profits. These profits, or royalties, are generated from all the transactions within the module. So if you co-own part of the marketplace, you'll get a cut of every transaction. You can check the leaderboard to see where you rank for the profit sharing. Depending on the game, the top 25 or top 10 will receive bonuses on their royalties. A portion of the transactions are also burned off deflationary mechanisms are in place across the game to keep the economy healthy. There are eight modules in-game, which you can invest and earn royalties from, and each of them are important to the core functionality of the game's economy, like the marketplace and shipyard. The modular economy contributes to the broader game economy, which is really important for games of this scope. A well-designed game economy provides the right amount of challenge and satisfaction, keeping players engaged and returning for more. The cross-game economy that is implemented inside us means that no game is in isolation and incentives for players to return to play remain high. Any gamer out there will know that you need a break from a certain game after a while. With Sidus, you can swap between their games and still progress your heroes, which is great if you're not in the mood for one type of game. Just switch to a different one and keep progressing, so the replayability and player retention will be high as a result. The politics within the game also have a big impact on the game economy. Sidus have developed a political system where players can take on roles like ministers or presidents and lobby their interests. This system could influence the game's technology development and other aspects, intertwining the gameplay with the economic structure. I'm not kidding when I say that Sidus has big ambitions. This is a sprawling gaming ecosystem that will have something for everyone. Just recently, Sidus have launched Dutch auctions in their Sidus market. If you don't know what a Dutch auction is, it essentially means prices start high and steadily decrease until somebody purchases the item. It is still in its testnet phase, but you can be sure that the market will have way more items for you to buy with your hard earned rewards. You can refer your friends and earn rewards with Q Sidus tokens, so get your friends on there as well. Make sure you follow their socials if you want to stay up to date with new items that will be launched on Sidus Market. Sidus are constantly building right now, guys. With six games ready to be finished by the end of the year and 14 more in development, one being a partnership with a luxury brand, you can be sure that we will be seeing something new from Sidus almost every month. The ceiling for this project is pretty high in my opinion. Gaming studios are a great way to invest in the crypto gaming sector instead of individual games. With the roster of games and the upcoming launches, I am pretty excited for where Sidus is headed in the future. You can try out four of their games right now. I definitely recommend trying out Asta Rally as this could be a huge innovation for Telegram Gaming. Everything you do carries over into other games. Hero development, resource collection, module upgrade, political voting. This is one of the most expansive crypto gaming environments around today. 
So don't sleep on Sidus's potential. They even have a book out which is trending in the top 10 cyberpunk sci-fi books on Amazon. Law forms a strong part of the Sidus games, so check it out and dive into their stories. If you want to know a bit more about my strategy with crypto gaming, check out the video just below me. The market has huge potential in the coming years. But until next time, guys, remember, trade smart, don't be a dumbass, and I'll see you soon.